Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just an enlightened couple in love that loves reacting to some Elden Ring. We're so enlightened. Yes. And so uh, we're getting more enlightened, uh, thanks to Vadi uh, and his videos on Elden Ring. And so we're checking out another one from that. Uh, an Elden Ring story, a uh, story? <laughs> an Elden Ring story, The Warrior Within. Uh, okay. So we're watching today. If you want all of our Elden Ring reactions, check out the description of this video. We got playlists there for you. We're also checking out the Dark Souls Prepare to Cry series as well, so you can see that. The Jars are kindly folk, brought to life by human flesh and blood. Nice. Which can be stored safely within. We can't be sure why they were created. However, the Ode Tree is imprinted upon their wax seals. Hmm. And there are empty jars at the bases of many minor Ode Trees. Perhaps they once transported bodies here for burial? At any rate, their purpose has long been lost since the shattering. Oh, Dick. No. And now they live in fear. For there are those who would pay a high price for the shard of a living jar. Oof. Oh no. Mm hmm. One's choice of armor says a lot about them. Maybe it's the armor of a nameless vagabond, or the armor of one to whom family is everything. For Dialos, this armor was passed down to him, and many expectations came with it. Ah, hello. Fancy armor. You must be new here. I'm, well, just call me Dialos. The honor of one's house holds little import in these lands. By the way, have you met a young woman named Lanya on your travels? She's my servant, but fickle as the wind. Take your eyes off her for but a moment and she's good as gone. If you find her, please be sure to tell me. Oh, Lanya. It's me, Dialos. Mm. Answer me, would you? Hello, friend. Tell me if you know, would you? The whereabouts of the hidden house of those despicable fiends. The recusants who hunt their fellow tarnished. They laid hands upon my servant Lanya, and I refuse to let the insult stand. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood. That's I, Dialos, swear to deliver the message. Lanya was a tarnished servant of House Hoslo and a companion of Dialos since childhood. So she might have known better than anyone that Dialos was all talk cool. and no action. The recusants are tarnished who have turned their backs on grace and the Erd Tree. Such blasphemy leads them to hunt fellow tarnished to foil the efforts of those guided by grace. This recusant's name is Henricus, a night killer who would have crushed Dialos, but he makes the mistake of invading you. Hmm. Good. Yeah. Hello? Can you hear me? <laughs> Help me. I'm stuck. Aw, no. Hello? Hello! Oh, my stars! I'm so happy to see you. And as you can see, I'm stuck here. Please, can you help me out of this? My thanks, a thousand thanks. Just give me a good smack from the rear with <laughs> something nice and big. And I'll pop clean out, I'm sure. Don't dally. Uh, there's well, no need to fret, smack I'm very well trained. Give it your all, I say. Not with the point, Ian. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well played, good sir. Reverse whack -a Well played. <laughs> ah. I thank you. Once again, the pleasure is mine. I am the warrior jar known as Alexander. Iron Fist Alexander, in fact. I journey to the east, where I intend to further my education in the ways of war. And beyond these lands lie the scarlet, rot-blighted, calid wilds. 
and upon their southern edge is Redmain Castle, in which a festival of combat is being held. I'd heard whispers of such festivities before. Doesn't the notion set your breast a flutter? <laughs> You came. How delightful. Indeed, I thought I might find you here. By the by, do you know for whom this festival is being held? Well, it is none other than General Radan himself. Ooh. To think, I could face a great champion of the Shattering, a demigod in the flesh. Oh, God. In truth, I quiver at the thought. Such is his frightful repute. But the fear simply assures me the ordeal is worth undertaking. Be sure to get a good vantage, my friend. I, Iron Fist Alexander, do hereby vow to unflinchingly brave this ordeal. He's a brave jar. <laughs> he is. Yes, Henry. General Renard was cursed ever to wander, eaten from the inside by Melania's scarlet rot. But his great rune burns to resist the encroachment of the rot. And while he is long since mad, he was once the strongest of the demigods, and perhaps the greatest warrior of all. funny with his tiny little emaciated force in the <laughs> He doesn't think it's funny. Yeah, I suspect this guy doesn't have much of a sense of humor. Hmm. Careful, Jar. Your racks will melt. But in the end, you are the host to this warrior's death. And those beside you are simply summoned to share in your glory. Ah, hello there. Um, it was a battle marvelously fought. You are well and truly a champion, friend. I, on the other hand, am nothing but a croc. One hit was all it took to crack me, and for my insides to come spilling out. After that, I... I hid like a coward. And as such, I can hardly stand to face one such as you. The bodies found here are exceedingly fine. Who could expect any less from the very warriors who fought in the Shattering? The greatest of all wars. I'm going to take you on a little journey. You'll all be inside me. From now on, we're all in it together. There's a lot of people in that jar. Thus, a warrior's passed from jar to jar, hmm. carrying dreams of greatness. Ah, you again, is it? The recusants sent a lucky. Can you believe they invited me to join them? Looks like he'd be jar stars. Mm -hmm. I can scarcely believe it myself. Do they think me a fool? You might be surprised to learn I took them up on the offer. Then I only had to ask. The location of the recusant hideout. It's on Mount Gelmir, found off the old road that leads west from the town of Windmills. That's where they hide. The manor on the peak. Just you wait, wretched recusants. You'll rue the day you insulted my name by laying hands on Lanya. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood, after all. Dialos had an older brother, a stern, self-possessed man named Juno, who inherited the Hoslo legacy instead of Dialos. True to the words of his house, Juno Hoslo walked many roads drenched in blood, Except yet never the had the ego to consider himself a champion. But the casual manner of his achievements made him seem out of reach, and so the younger aspired to be like the older yearning for the day that he would tell the tale of House Hoslo in blood, knowing full well that it would break his brother's heart. Mm. Sounds like a good brother. Help me! I'm stuck! Hello! <laughs> 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 
My thanks in advance. I know you're the man for the job. You know what to do, hmm? Let's say, same jar, or? What if I could somehow be made slippery or some such? Oh. Hit on the butt. Deary me. After some loot. I'm oilier than a toad. <laughs> My thanks. Yes, indeed. I too have a home. Though it is one to which I have vowed not to return. So, I thought I might look out from atop the cliff. But as I drew closer and closer, pow, wouldn't you know it, I was perfectly stuck in that blasted hole. <laughs> I can feel the warriors inside admonishing me for my mawkishness. Hmm. And so we learn that just over the cliff is Jarbuk, <laughs> a hidden little village where the Jars can live in peace. Hello, cuz. What are you doing here? I didn't think anyone knew about this place. Except us jars. Ah! Are you going to be the new potentate? Show me your hands. It's just a little test, cuz. To see if you've got the right stuff. Hmm. Your skin isn't so smooth, is it? You need slick, slidey hands to be potentate, you know? The most right. I'm sorry, cuz. But I don't think you've got what it takes. What a shame. A potentate is a leader of the jars, who, <laughs> in this case it seems, is judged worthy by the quality of their hands. <laughs> hands grow rough and calloused by war, but most living jars are kindly and would not value such a ruler. Better instead to have a potentate who can take care of them, though this jar ban secretly has the insides of a warrior, so he desires a protector to look up to. Do you know what a poacher is, cuz? They hunt us. Smash us. And then take us away. Hmm. This village is kept secret. So... I think Look we're safe long. here. But you should be careful if you ever meet one of them, cuz. I hope Uncle Alexander beats them all up first. <laughs> Hmm. Nice. Living jar shards are in high demand. In fact, their shards are a crafting material used by the most depraved perfumers who grow desperate to craft their potions and explosives. As such, the perfumers must never be allowed to find their way to Jarburg. Have you met Uncle Alexander? He used to live here with us, but then he left to be a champion. One day, yeah, I'll be just like Uncle Alexander. I miss him, though. I asked to go with him, but he said, Oh, mountain of fire! Bake me in your flames! <sighs> ah, good sir. What business might you have in such a place as this? It's hardly more than lukewarm here. <laughs> I won't be able to temper my body such that it'll never crack again. Perhaps I'll head eastward. There's an old saying I've caught wind of. Above the lofty clouds, the icy giant's peak doth soar. Here lieth the cool. flame of ruin, which ever burning roars. Your timing, though, is impeccable as ever. I've been making just the thing for you on my journey here. Take it. I'm sure it'll suit you to a tea. a jar in your head and that's it. Eventually, you find your way to the Volcano Manor, home of the Recusants. I am Tanith, the proprietress of this house. An honor to have you. So tarnished. Have you ever harbored doubts about the burden of grace and the dogmatic ramblings of the fingers? If you have, it's why not monster. join the Volcano Manor? <laughs> and fight with us, rise with us, against the Erd Tree. Tanith calls for champions to join her cause, and she speaks well to the ambitions of the Tarnished. Such validation was impossible for Dialos to resist. Mm. Well, nice to see you again. <laughs> so you've been invited as well, I see. <laughs> then we're just, comrades in just arms a jar henceforth. Head in a 
Mm-hmm. You watch my back, and I'll watch yours. And cool yes. swords. I, um, I can tell you're wondering about Lanya. Well, you see, I, after much internal debate, I've come to realize revenge is not the answer. Hmm. According to Lady Tanith, I've got the stuff of champions. And champions, ironic as it is, are oft forced to walk a tainted path. It hit me like a bolt from the blue, that my former thoughts were simple naivety. Of course my heart weeps for Lanya. That unfortunate incident was a cruel twist of fate indeed. But succumbing to the pain and sadness caused won't make me a champion, will it? Well, Lanya knows that's this, true. I'm certain. Fate has laid hard roads for us both. But such is true of any road trod by champions. I always resented these hands. Their pale complexion. A far cry from any warriors. The shame of House Hoslaw. But that won't be the case for long. They'll be darkened by grit once I've set out on the path of champions. The tale of House Hoslaw is told in blood after all. Did you read the letter left for you? That is the task the Volcano Manor desires you enact. You will be compensated once the deed is done. Good luck. Ooh. If you are loath to hunt your own kin, so be it. But you must leave this house at once. Mm. This is a war against the Erd Tree. We have no place for the meek, nor the luxury of keeping clean hands. And so, we come face to face with Juno Hoslow. He's got a cool ass weapon. Yeah. Teleport. Comrades in arms, henceforth. You watch my back, and I'll watch yours. Yes. When Juno Hoslow received an invitation to the Volcano Manor, he discreetly refused. As head of House Hoslow, his hands had been bloodied enough already. What's the matter? Having trouble nabbing your prey? Do you remember your vow to Tanith? To rise against the Erd Tree? Dare I say your heart was never in it to begin with? You and Dialos both. Well, aren't you full of beans? No wonder you're covered in muck. Oh, my friend, it's been far too long. I have to say you caught me at a rather low point. But as you see, I've put all that behind me. Left the Volcano Manor, forging my own path now, making my own choices. Even a fool like me can look after some simple jars. Do you pity me? <laughs> well, don't. I feel like for the first time in my life, I'm on the straight and narrow. When Dialus Hoslow finally set aside the expectations of others, he started to listen to himself. No jars. Oh, hello again, cuz. Let's move the hands that weren't bloody. A new potentate's come to the village. I think he said his name was Dialos. He seems a little down in the dumps, but his hands, as smooth as hmm. silk. I don't know. I'm a little disappointed, actually. <coughs> Even though good Sir Dialos has a wonderful suit of armor, he says he isn't a warrior. And since he's a coward, he won't be fighting anymore. His smooth and silky hands feel nice when he pats us. <laughs> but I wish we had a potentate big and strong like you. Which brings us to the perfumers who have had reason to follow you here. <gasps> the perfumers were once respected healers <gasps> who traveled the land in search of flower fields and aromatics so that they might better treat the less fortunate. But after they were drafted onto the battlefields of the Shattering, they were forced to trade their pleasant aromatics for consumable tools of war. So, in Jarburg, they don't see the rare flowers or the peaceful jars, 
they see a village of crafting materials, ruled by a coward. Wait, Wait. Stands there. you're a butcher, aren't you? I'll turn my back on duty no more. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood. In blood! There you go, Rounds. Yeah. Found your courage. Up to stab the back rather well. Yeah. Got a like, Castlevania whip. Yeah. Oh, see you, poacher. For years, Dialos had yearned to tell the tale of House Hoslo in blood. All it took was something worth fighting for. Hmm. Meanwhile, you and Alexander make your way to the mountain tops of the giants, continuing upon the path of champions. Are you gonna ride that giant? Oh, it's a cannon! Yeah! Okay then. Go, Jar, go! Go, Jar, go. He's got two faces. Got a big, I didn't realize a big face like on his chest. Oh god, I had an ender. But he has a nose right there yeah. in the middle. Oh, there's the eye. Freaky eye. <laughs> cool. See you finally made it here yourself. The city hanging in the air is slowly crumbling. Oz? What an incredible place we find ourselves. And sister. Yeah. That aside, you're suddenly a force to be reckoned with, eh? Which means I've but one thing to ask of you. I've been longing to fight a warrior as accomplished as you. You are ready then, I take it. Then let us begin. I am the great Jar Warrior. Iron Fist Alexander! Lend me strength, O oh warriors with it! No, oh, don't wanna fight you. Let us become one champion together! I don't wanna shatter you, Jar. was impossible. My thanks. It was a marvelous battle. I implore you. Take what I bequeath from inside me. All vessels are destined to one day break. But the great Alexander lived as a warrior to his last. <laughs> Unlike Dialos, Alexander was brave and threw himself into danger at every turn. But in the end, his armor was not enough for the warrior within. Oh, cuz, I'm glad you came, but we're fine now. Dialos fought the poacher, though quite a lot of us got broken. Mm. <laughs> I won't cry though. I'm a warrior, Jar. Hmm. A warrior. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood. That's the kind of warrior I want to be one day, cuz. Even if I'm scared, I'll still fight to protect everyone. Ah. You. Uh, the Jars. Are they all right? <laughs> Did I defend them? Then all is well. Finally did. This fool proved his worth in the end. 
And so it is that the coward is capable of the highest heroism. Hmm. Good line. Wow. Cuz, are these insights from Uncle Alexander? <sighs> Thank you, Cuz. I'm a warrior jar, so I need to be strong. I can really have them. Right? I understand. I'll get strong. Strong enough. I deserve to have Uncle's insights. Hmm. I don't think I'll see you again when I set out. Warriors are supposed to work alone. Goodbye, cuz. <laughs> and thanks for everything. I'll never forget you. Cuz. The jars contain dregs inherited from those who came before. Thus, our warriors passed from jar to jar, hmm. carrying dreams of greatness. This video wouldn't have been possible without the help of Miss Pap One, a new creator on the scene who has a lot of cinematic talent. Go and check out his channel for more cinematic footage like this. He also plans to make little epilogues <laughs> for these Prepare to Cry episodes that we do together, which I'm very excited to see. But working together, you know, both of us could create something that was better than either of us working alone. Hmm. And that's what I've learned from working with other people in the last few years. We are more than the sum of our parts. And good I think you. that's a good metaphor for this video, especially. Mm -hmm. um, on that note, I want to start building a bigger team so that I can make Make better videos faster as well. Um, this was something I meant to yeah. do before Elden Ring launched, but I just didn't have the time. So if you're deeply knowledgeable about any aspect of From Software's games and you would like to have a paid role like this, then send an email to the next potentate at gmail.com. Specifically, I'm looking for writers mostly at this stage. So if you have any examples of your written work that you've done in the past, that would really help to put you at the top of the list. But if you have any other skills, or knowledge like in editing animation or anything really then mm. that could be welcome as well mm -hmm. uh, just a heads up I might not be able to respond to everyone but thank you if you do submit something if I can put out better videos faster and make a real effort to still retain what makes them unique to me and also help other people make a living from these games then I think that would be really cool yeah uh, I've definitely been feeling the pressure with the release of Elden Ring to put it mildly there's just so much that I want to make for you guys, uh, but I feel like I never have the time. But regardless, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Okay, so this time we got a little bit more of a, of a full story instead of just like, you know, um, background on, on different characters. Uh, what'd you think? I really loved the story of Dialos. I love the yeah. fact that, and I'm probably butcher, but that line that you mentioned at the end that Thus was how a coward was capable of the greatest heroism. Yep. Um, you know, I think that's important. I think we we often will beat ourselves up if we don't act in the way that we wish we had in certain mm -hmm. situations because we're afraid of what our friends will say or our parents or our significant others or whatever the case may be. So I think that reminder that, you know, cowards are capable of heroism and sometimes it's the greatest act that they do. Also just what a great title, The Warrior Within, because like the different meanings that it has. I mean, because it also talked about like Alexander, and the jars and the warrior within the jars themselves and like how they're able to take a piece of all the, all, all the warriors with them and, and like kind of keep them uh, like, you know, lasting forever and the warrior within uh, Dialos. Uh, you know, that fact that like it was always, it, it was always there um, and he finally got to, uh, got to come out. But you know, what he said is that he had finally had something worth fighting for. Like he didn't just want to fight for revenge. He didn't just want to fight for um, just to have his hands bloodied because that was like the the code of his his house or whatever, and you know he never knew he was going to be as good as that at that as his older brother was. Okay, I got to find my own path and what I'm going to be good at. And then you know he found the jars and that was he was good at because his hands weren't bloodied and everything. Even if you have failed in the past, um, you know by your standards or, or or whatever standards, like if you haven't lived up to what you had hoped to to be, hoped to become, it's never it's never too late. And um, you know. It's all about the opportunity presenting itself. And just because you didn't make, I don't, know if I don't wanna say you made the wrong decision before, but just because you didn't make a, a certain decision that maybe label, got la you labeled as a coward, um, doesn't mean that like you are destined to always be that coward. Yeah, no human is ever one thing. We often try to 
identify each other as one mm-hmm. thing or like put people in their boxes because that kind of like helps us retain some sort of order to the chaos of life. Mm-hmm. But people are messy and complicated. We're never just one thing or another. We're a whole bunch of things. And under the right circumstances, we can we can rise to it or we can fall to it. But we're, you know, we're never... You can't ever label someone just a coward because that's that's not that's not that person's full story. I was also thinking with what you said about, you know, the the warrior within and having something to fight for. Having something to fight for will always be stronger than fighting against something. Like you can say, "Oh, I fight against tyranny." Yeah. Okay. But I fight for freedom is like, "Oh, yeah." yeah. <laughs> like it will always be stronger. It'll be more of a rallying cry. It'll be more mm. something that people will will make huge sacrifice for if it is something worth fighting for, as opposed to just fighting against something. I mean, you know, when we first meet Dialos, like I didn't I didn't necessarily like him. I mean, because like when you have a, a story, especially like in um a fantasy setting and like with warriors and everything like that, like you wanna cheer for the person that's that's brave and a knight and going into battle and and rushing off to vengeance, you know. I said how vengeance wasn't something he was fighting for, and like in the, in the past, other videos I've always talked about like how revenge, like I always like a good revenge story because it's something that's like very relatable. Like you know, I mean, everyone at one point or another has wanted to take revenge for something, um, and whether we've done it or not, I mean, probably not like you know on a vengeance like killing streak or something, but you know, <laughs> hopefully not. <laughs> yeah. Also within these stories, like we sort of champion and uh, heroes for fighting and for battling and like you know, call those that don't cowards. You can be a coward in like in, in a various other ways too. Like, you know, there's always like the, a lot of times you find like probably more in a romantic comedy or something like that. Like the coward that's afraid of uh, falling in love and afraid of like, you know, opening up their heart to other, someone else. Maybe the, the warrior that goes off to fight in battle is afraid of living like, you know, what would be called like a normal life or, um, you know, doing something that's like all they know might know is battle. And so they're afraid of, of doing anything else with their lives. They're different elements of, uh, of cowardice uh, in it. So like you said before, people are very complicated and they're more than just one thing. You can be brave in one aspect and a coward in another aspect um, just, just as well. Everyone's afraid of something. Um, yeah. Because you can't be courageous without fear. Exactly. Having courage is acting in the face of fear and moving through it and moving past it, um, or at least learning how to shoulder it mm-hmm. to, to act accordingly. When somebody is fearless, I mean, like, yeah, great for you, but that's not nearly as impressive as being courageous. I'm also really curious about the story between Dialos and his brother. Mm-hmm. Like, it feels like there is so much more to that story than we got here that I would love yeah. to know more about their background. And I, I may have gotten the wrong impression, but the impression I got was that his older brother kind of shouldered the responsibility of the family. Yeah. Um, they said he had, you know, walked in blood. He he walked the walk for his his house Mm -hmm. it did not seem to be something that he necessarily wanted or that brought him any joy being the head of house Uh, so while dialos seemed to want that prestige um, they made the comment that if he had walked through blood it would have broken his brother's heart so i don't know what the specifics are but that speaks volumes about their relationship and i would love to know more about it yeah i I agree it's another good uh story that hopefully uh we'll get told at at some point um and maybe in another video we'll we'll check out really enjoyed the story um great video again um my body and so looking forward to more and if you want more elden ring check out the description of this video we got playlists there as well as a link to our patreon we can get early ad free access to videos like this uh like i said we're also doing the dark souls prepare to cry series as well so we'll be continuing with that and you know we just love a good lore and we love a good story Yes, we do. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for an Elden Ring story, The Warrior Within, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.